What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Free Run, this time with episode 8. Very interesting episode last time out, it was almost a bit of a nature versus nurture type episode, uh, looking into the demons. Uh, we had this really awesome flashback story with uh, him and, and Free Run of course and, uh, and co, um, where they tried to nurture a demon after, um, after a, a tragic event and that nurturing really didn't do anything. <laughs> it was very much uh, relayed back to its nature of being a demon, being um, saying some just, just lip service really and I uh, thought again thought it was a really interesting look and just how kind of um, your preconceived notions and such maybe do hold true quite a lot of the time of course Free Ren the only one in this whole city that actually uh, doesn't trust these demons so really looking forward to seeing how things do go down today let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into episode 8 Yeah, sometimes your prejudices do hold true as much as that's very much the opposite of the message being spread around today. Sometimes truth is undeniable. The lot. And again, it's it's really funny because Freya Ren really is like the antithesis to this, isn't she? She's just a hundred percent honest. But in a way, she's true to her nature as well. <laughs> well, she doesn't look too pleased. Well, she's not a human. <laughs> Inexperienced demons. Let's go for it, uh. and look at that as well, like the the hands of a puppet. <laughs> Again, I love how Free Rent's handled all of this. But yeah, there very much is a lot of on the nose kind of commentary, isn't there, going on here? Well, you'd hope so, but they're still on the demon side, so I imagine she'd probably still be, uh, she's probably going to get blamed for this guy's death. She's not the type to kind of fight her case absolutely as she has we saw. She just kind of accepted her fate last episode and they imprisoned her. Biding her time, of course, she's got plenty of time, so <laughs> that she cares too much. She's probably going to spend a couple of years in there. Um, yeah, I love how she's handled it. But uh, as I've been saying, as much as this kind of prejudice stuff is kind of true, that very much the opposite is very true as well. Sometimes prejudices and such are completely wrong and misfounded. But again, it's always a case by case kind of basis. Yeah, that was a nice little action sequence there, wasn't it? Really nice. Of course, the animation in the show in general is lovely, so that's to be expected. It was crazy as well. I'm pretty sure we've still got like 20 episodes left. <laughs> what, how, how many did it say? I think it's 28 episode seasons. Yeah, we've got 20 episodes left after this, which... It's really awesome news, isn't it? Because it already feels like we're kind of halfway through, eight ep being eight episodes in. Like we've got a whole other season still to come. I 
I'm hoping it's a continuous core as well, so it, it'll just continue airing into next season. I'll scoff that down. even care about you two. Bam. <laughs> it's made me look like I weed myself. Damn, I don't get I didn't realise it affected him so much. It didn't seem like anything happened, but I guess the fact that nothing we didn't notice anything was the was the whole point of him being so scared. Yes. Yes, you did. Exactly what happened, actually. I fought her alone, and he died. Location magic. I don't feel bad for these guys. If they do attack these demons, they are just dead. They're better off just playing along. Why is he not saying he used the location magic to go? Well, I guess he's just given up. It's just going to kill them. He did. That's blocks. Can't even cut through blood. Ghouls.
Wow. I love that little, uh, that moment where the ring just beheaded all of those guys at once. <laughs> Pretty good, you all walk past us. That was a that was a really nice bit of swift animation right there. A uh, hitchhiker. Yeah, she didn't even really break out, honestly, did she? The door's already open for her. She just walked out. The reins have been unleashed. That would be fun. I'd like to see that. Oh, I believe in them as well, you know. As strong as that main one seemed right there. I feel like a bit alright. Got it down a fucking dragon a couple episodes ago. So I'm guessing she's going to Aura. Or whoever their leader was that they mentioned. Really? Already getting the cooking pot ready. Oh god. Or the guillotine. So she's the person we see in the opening. Who we haven't quite seen yet. I think we see her in the opening anyway. But a, um, a recognisable design. How do you she gonna fly? <laughs> so, how do you expect her to get up there? If she can fly, she's just gonna fly over. That's interesting, isn't it? Because that is again, uh, these guys have had such a such a kind of 
same kind of line, but so different from free Ren in that in in a way. She's been kind of. I did just miss a line there. She just uh, she's been kind of researching magic, but all forms of magic. These guys are just focusing seem to focus in on one type. Uh, obviously, with that guy that we saw who already defeated the killing kind of magic. But she uh, she's very much in the same line. She researches magic a lot, but she again just she picks up so many little spells, so many seemingly useless spells and such. It's really interesting, isn't it? That it's been a big theme throughout this arc that they're, they're kind of demons and free arena similar, but super different. Um, which again sounds quite paradoxical but again that's almost a bit of a theme in this arc as well honestly really enjoying the uh kind of subtext in this arc so far Demons will never touch this little seedling. <laughs> Why is that? Hmm. I can understand that thought process. I mean, it would be, but this is like one of the only people that could teach you, so. I'm not going to kill him. <clears throat> Do you reckon that small barrier that she created for that little plant turned into this? I, I doubt it, but it might have. That barrier grew along with a plant, protected the sea. Perhaps. <laughs> Be careful not to cut him. <laughs> Come on, man. Let the guy be. He's trying to save your life. <laughs> Nazumi. 
a rat. I kind of thought they left to go find these two. Burn and Stark, but... Don't that just piss you off? Yes, let's go start. That's fun right now, bro. He's here. Oh, nice. Hey, let's go. Let's go for. I reckon she's actually the strongest pink haired girl. Nice job. Very nice job. Oh dear. Right. They can just regenerate, unfortunately. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> How intimidating is that? It's just a stick, but it looks so intimidating. Really? Sure was. Ah, oh, here she comes again. Same fucking, same scene. A little less blood. Fear and the Slayer. Is that what that actually means then? Is that what the title means? So, so no free around. Free around the Slayer. I didn't know that actually. Why is it that uh, then been translated into free around beyond Journey's End? I don't know. Hell of an episode. Another really awesome episode. Again, this show has just been fantastic so far, hasn't it? Again, love the kind of subtext and story that's going on right here. Simple, but it is also quite complex when you do look into it. Animation was 
beautiful today as usual loved uh stark and fern teaming up there at the end that was great can't wait to see this as well bit of a uh bit of a slaying i think we might see him yeah this season so far has just been excellent hasn't it i've i get to watch um Eminence and Shadow Wednesdays, Jujutsu Kaisen and Pluto on Thursdays, this and Undead Unluck on Fridays. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> the quality is just ridiculous. Or the guillotine. Nice. Okay. So yeah, looking forward to the next episode a lot. Uh, this one was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Another fantastic episode. As the series has been this whole way through, but um, another probably one of my favourite episodes here, um, along with uh, episode six and uh, obviously the first four episodes. Um, I, I'm not really sure how to kind of differentiate. That was all kind of like just one episode to me, honestly. Um, but yeah, loved uh, loved this one again. Stark and Fern teaming up at the end there was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Uh, taking on these demons, uh, really cool kind of power as well, control and blood. Again, you see that a lot. Kind of demons and kind of magic stuff, but uh, really well uh, kind of done here. I loved the scene of him just cutting everyone's head off <laughs> during that uh, meeting. But um, yeah, some uh, some nice gore as well here. Uh, really excited for next episode though. As I said, looks like Free Ren is going to be slaying quite a lot of demons. So I can't wait to see that go down. That is going to be absolutely outrageous. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. I'll be back next week with episode nine. So um, I think it's nine, isn't it? Yeah, back with episode 9 next week, so see you guys then. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.